Hello, everyone. Welcome to Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. I'm Michelle Goldstein, and today I'm going to lead you through a power yoga flow. Before we get started, friendly reminder to subscribe to Heart Alchemy if you haven't already, and click the bell icon on YouTube to be sure to be notified whenever we post new videos. You can also sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com. There's a link in the first comment of this video on how to do that, and we do a drawing every month and give away a Heart Alchemy t-shirt or muscle tank to one lucky new email list subscriber. So check that out as well, and let's get started with our practice today. Come to sit on your mat. Close your eyes. Bring some awareness to the inner landscape of your body. Deepen your breath. And begin to shift your breath to ujjayi breathing, a deep, fluid breath through the nose. And let's interlace the fingers and press the palms in front of you and reach the arms up to the sky. Press up, lift the pelvic floor, so Mula Bandha, and hug the lower floating ribs into the back ribs so you're not collapsing into a back bend here. Plug the arms down into the shoulder sockets. Take a little twist over toward the right. And lower the left hand onto the right knee and the right hand to the floor at the base of your spine. Take the shoulder heads back. Good, and then come back to center. And if your legs are crossed, cross with the opposite leg on top. Interlace fingers with the opposite grip. Press palms forward, arms up. Stabilize the core. Stabilize the breath by allowing it to flow. We stabilize the breath by anchoring our mind in the breath. And we'll rotate to the left. Lower the right hand onto the left knee. Left hand to the floor at the base of the spine. Keep the core engaged, pelvic floor lifted. Beautiful, and then back to center. Arms reach up, inhale. Palms meet in front of the heart on the exhale. All right, everyone, let's come to hands and knees, all four. On an inhale, pull the heart forward to cow pose. And as you exhale, 
round through your spine to cat. Inhale, arch the back, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, round through your spine. And one more time like that. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And then inhale to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press back to downward facing dog pose. Really feel the breath moving now. Push up out of the shoulders. So when I was saying take the arms and plug them into the shoulder sockets, do that here as well. So you get space around the neck. And we'll lift the right leg. Inhale. And exhale. Step right foot through to the front of your mat. You're in a runner's lunge here. Sink the hips a little bit and feel the right thigh bone, femur bone, hug back into its hip socket. So this is how we stabilize the joints. Arms into the shoulder sockets. Thigh bones, femur bones into the hip socket. Good, and then step back to downward dog. And we'll lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot all the way through. All right, we're in a runner's lunge here on the left side. You can sink into it a little bit but keep the pelvic floor lifted, shoulders down the back, the inner thighs isometrically hugged together, the inner legs. Belly in a lot. Good, back to dog. Beautiful, inhale to plank position. Exhale, lower down. For our first vinyasa here, inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, pull back, down dog. Breathe. And then when you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Bend the knees. Utkatasana. Inhale. And come up to stand. Palms connect in front of the heart. Okay. Utkatasana. Bend the knees. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step back, lower down. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through. Come up, crescent pose for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Step to plank. Mindfully lower. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left side, step. Come up. Crescent pose. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. 
Plank Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Breathe. The whole practice is intended to stabilize the mind. So do anchor the mind on the breath. Anchor the breath in the mind. When you're ready, bring your feet to your hands, and we'll do that again. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale to stand. The palms meet at the heart. For the full Surya B today, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, through the Vinyasa. Inhale, Cobra Pose. Exhale, Downward Dog. Right side steps through. Crescent. Inhale. Exhale, release. Plank to Chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, back. Left side, lunge. Come up, crescent pose. Inhale. And release. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, dog. Watch where the mind goes. And bring it to where you want it to be. When you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Utkatasana, chair pose, inhale, exhale to stand, the palms connect in front of the heart. Okay, again, Utkatasana, inhale, fold forward, exhale, lengthen, inhale, and vinyasa. Last one of these, inhale to cobra, exhale down dog, right side, step through, crescent, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Keep the belly engaged, inhale cobra, exhale down dog, left side, step, Come up, inhale, and exhale, release. Inhale, cobra, exhale to dog. Lift the right leg, please. Inhale, exhale, step through, come up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior inhale, side angle pose on the exhale. Let's breathe here for a few, feel the right femur bone, hug into the hip socket, belly in, pelvic floor engaged. Outer left foot, the back foot, press it down. And as you reach through the left arm, spiral open in the upper chest. 
And come up, warrior two. Palms connect in front of the heart. Let's step up to tree at the top of your space. Breathe. And then bring the left knee to center. So the hips come level. Shoot the left leg straight back. Crescent pose. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Let's step to plank. Roll to the outer left foot. Reach the right arm up for side plank. Shoulders away from ears. Push up out of the left shoulder. And then right hand down. Plank position. Inhale here. Exhale lower. Inhale. Cobra pose. Exhale down dog. Left leg lifts, inhale, exhale, step through, come up, warrior two, to reverse warrior, inhale, and side angle pose on the exhale, deep breath, feel the left femur bone hug into its hip socket, inner legs isometrically engaged. Shoulders down the back, belly in a lot. And come up, warrior two. Palms meet at the heart. We'll step up to tree at the top of your space the top of your space, the front of your mat. Stabilize the gaze so you find your drishti, your gazing point. Balance poses are one of the best ways to stabilize the mind, focus the mind. And then right knee to center. Shoot the right leg straight back. Crescent for a breath. Inhale. Exhale the hands down. Step to plank. Roll to the outer right foot. Reach the left arm up for Vashistasana. Push up out of the right shoulder. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Good, and lower the left hand down, you're in plank, inhale. Lower it down, exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Bring your feet to the front of your space. Lengthen. Inhale. Fold on the exhale. Interlace fingers behind the back. Stretch the arms up and overhead. Go out of your way to release your neck. And rise up to stand up. Arms sweep up. Inhale. As you exhale, left arm wraps under the right arm, 
And we'll set up for eagle pose, left leg up and over right leg. Shoulders down the back, belly in. Breathe. Let's transition to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Release the left leg, bring right fingertips down to the floor or a block. Be willing to fall and definitely be willing to shake it off. Who cares? Like, be willing to be human. Keep the left foot engaged, left leg engaged. And we'll step back, warrior two pose. Look over your right middle finger, focus, focus. And find a way to be soft within the strength of the pose. We'll straighten the right leg, lengthen into triangle pose. Definitely set it up with blocks and props if they help you. Good, and then bend the right knee, lower the hands down, come up on the back toes, step back to plank, lower the left knee to your mat, lift the right leg up, left arm forward, push up out of the right shoulder. If it feels good, you could bend the right knee, catch the right foot with the left hand, grab a little back bend here. Good, and then release the right foot. Left arm reach forward, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, step to plank. And pull back to dog. Very nice. Bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Interlace fingers with the opposite grip. Stretch the arms up and overhead. Release your neck. And come up to stand. Biggest breath in, arms reach up. Exhale, right, hand, right arm under the left arm for eagle. And then right leg up and over the left leg for eagle pose. Garuda Asana. Keep the face soft. We transition to half moon, release arms and legs. And if you fall, if you wobble, if you nail it perfectly, shake it off, who cares? <laughs> you know, just be in the moment. Stabilize the mind. with the breath. And 
And step back to warrior two. And straighten the left leg, lengthen into triangle pose. Keep the quadriceps engaged. And then bend the left knee, lower the hands down, step to plank, take the right knee to the ground, left leg lifts, right arm reach forward, you can stay here if you like, bend the left knee, catch the left foot with the right hand, and grab a little back bend. Very nice, release the left leg, right arm reaches forward, inhale, exhale, right hand down, step to plank, big breath in, exhale, lower to the ground, release the toes, reach the arms back behind you, interlace the fingers, lift the chest up for Shalabhasana, lift the legs up, Spread the toes. Good. And see if you can keep lifted. Bend the knees. Catch the feet with the hands for bow. Isometrically hug the inner legs together. One more breath. And then release. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead down. Let's press back to child's pose. And roll yourself up to sit with your legs stretched straight in front of you. And we'll come in for Paschimottanasana. Arms reach up, inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Feel the spine get really long here, so you're not rounding too much, even though the spine will naturally round a bit. But instead of really accentuating that roundness, get some extension. Beautiful, and then come on up. Lie down on your back. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh to thread the eye of the needle. Keep the right foot flexed. And find a way to soften, soften. Very nice. Switch sides, please. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and then release. Shavasana, your final rest. Allow your eyes to close. Feel the fingers and toes relax. Belly soft. And when you're ready, bring some awareness back into your physical body. Bend your knees. Roll your side. And press yourself up to sit. Any comfortable seat. With your eyes closed. and your lips closed. Allow everything else to be open. Open to give Open to receive. What are you giving and receiving right now? We'll connect the palms together in front of the heart. Lift the heart, bow the head. Thank you. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. I'm Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to Heart Alchemy and click the bell icon on YouTube so that you're sure to be notified whenever we post new videos. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. And please sign up for our email list. Link is in the first comment of this video. We will see you guys soon. Be well.